Welcome back to Brazen Brits, I'm Lawrence and I'm Natalie and today we're going to test these four shower heads. Now we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to fill up a bucket with these shower heads to see how long it takes mm -hmm. and how much water it's using effectively. The second test we're going to do is how far and how good the pressure is. We have an ingenious test of doing that so stick with that. And then the third test is we're going to check how these work with thick long hair. It really makes me wonder We have four shower heads here. The first one is our original one from our Grand Design 312 BHTS. It's a 2018 model. Uh, we loved this for a long time and then we had an issue with it. We it had split an issue. The... What did you do? And then I didn't do a good job at winterizing the rig <laughs> and it cracked our shower head, um, mm -hmm. which was annoying. <laughs> so uh, this one I have put tape on it. Hopefully this is going to stick for the test. But we loved this. We didn't have an issue with this. No? It was fine. Um, we got this off some subscribers. Mm -hmm. Nikki and Keith, thank Nikki you. Nikki and Keith, thank you. Uh, we met them in Tampa last year. Uh, this is an old, typical, you know, probably early 2000s uh, shower head. We'd love to see how this works. It has got a little crack there as well. So again, not too much of a fair test, but that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> then we're gonna be comparing the Oxygenics. We've talked about this a couple of times. We love this and we hope it's gonna work really well. But we've also gonna include a standard household shower head that we actually purchased, what, about a year ago? Go. This is like eight dollars on Amazon. It's amazing. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> so we're going to compare them all and see how they how they do. Let's do it. All right. To make this a completely fair test, I'm not using our Clear 2O filter. This does reduce the uh, the water pressure, so I'm not using that. We are at our home base, so I know that I and trust the the water here. However, I am using a regulator, so this regulates the pressure going into the rig at 45 psi. So this will make it an absolutely fair test for all four shower heads. Test number one, we're going to fill this 10 quart bucket. We're not putting any shower head on it so that I can see uh, how long this takes. This will be our benchmark. We're going to time it until it gets up to the top and starts overflowing. One thing before I do this, someone is going to comment that I'm using the hot water, which is a different pressure from a hot water tank. Not true. Uh, if you watch the Better Born video, you know I'm an idiot. Uh, when I took this off and replaced our Black backflow preventer, which is behind here by the way, uh, I didn't put the things on the right way. And then I siliconed it all up and it's all sealed and now I didn't want to redo that. So hot is cold and cold is hot, so we are using the cold water feed. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Go. 159.59, we couldn't be any more accurate on time. <laughs> okay, we have the benchmark. It's basically two minutes to fill up a 10 quart bucket without any shower head on at all. So now we're gonna use, let's use the really old one. Yeah. We'll do that. All right, let's just take a quick look at what it looks like with the water on. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's gonna take a while. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Two forty-eight, ninety-eight. All right. So the old school shower head was what? Two minutes, 48. forty-nine seconds. Mm -hmm. So that's like eleven seconds less than with no shower head at all. So, which is weird because the pressure was awful on that. So, all right. Now let's go for the one that we originally had in here, the original Grand Design uh, shower head. All right. You probably noticed my mistake there. So this is the old one, and this was two minutes and forty-eight seconds. The original with no shower head was one minute 59. So 50 it's like seconds 50 different. seconds different, yeah. not 10 seconds. <laughs> not sure what I was thinking there. 50 seconds different. Three, two, one, go. Okay, good. 2.38.64, so that is 10 seconds. All right, cool. So the Grand Design original shower head was two minutes and 38 seconds. Let's run on and do 
the Oxygenics, which is the one that we currently use right now. All right, one important thing to note on the Oxygenics is it has lots of different settings. We're gonna use a normal shower setting um, that we would normally use every day, and it's very similar to the streams of the other ones, but there are multiple settings you can have on here with high pressure, low pressure, things like that. We're just putting it on setting one, it's the normal one. All right, ready? Okay, Oxygenics, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. All right, I think the Oxygenics took two minutes and 40 seconds. We have one left, which is our household cheap shower head that we love in our house. Uh, let's give that a go. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. All right, so the standard cheap household one that we have, uh, it, by the way, it also has multiple settings. We put it on the setting that we typically use. Um, so that filled the bucket in two minutes and 20 seconds, which uh, that's a lot of water. Using some incredibly complicated and scientific mathematical equations, uh, I have managed to calculate how many gallons each shower head will use during a 10 minute shower. So as you can see here, the hose only was terrible. That was 15, over 15 gallons. Uh, no surprise there. The only one that really surprised me on here is actually the household uh, one, which used a lot less than I thought it would. I thought that would be closer to the 15 gallons, but everything else was pretty close there. Now, I wanna use a scoring system for all the tests that we're doing. So uh, I've put this together in a sheet. I've rated each one from zero to 10 using again, a very mathematical and scientific equation. So there's where we are right now. The grand design is just skipping ahead by one point. He has a total of eight points uh, and the old school one is right behind. So now I wanna to go to our second test because that is the pressure test, which is very, very important. Here's a very scientific test we're gonna do here. We're gonna attach each pipe and hold it up here so that the bottom of the shower head is on this bracket. And then we're gonna mark where it hits on the wall just to measure the pressure. So we should get a decent idea of where the pressure is. That's the best way we could think of doing it. Any other ideas, let us know. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're gonna plug these up. We're gonna go through each of them and see where on this wall it hits on exactly the same settings for the ones that had different settings on the shower. This is extremely technical and we're using these. <laughs> these bits of tape to mark where everything is. So first one up, nothing. Okay, round two, the old style camper one. Oh. <laughs> okay, that didn't even hit the wall. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next up, grand design. Oh no, that's not terrible. Time for the oxygenics. Oh, interesting. Okay, lastly, the house one. Whoa. <laughs> I like it. That's not even on the most powerful setting. No, that's not. All right, cool. So I'm going to overlay some stuff on that and go and evaluate those numbers. But I think we have one more test that we want to do, which is important for the ladies. Actually, that was very sexist. <laughs> it's not, it's about thick hair. So let's go and do that. Okay, so let's score all of those and those results. I think they're pretty obvious. You can tell by our very scientific experiment there with our, our tape markers. So uh, one thing I wasn't surprised about is the old school hose, uh, although excellent water efficiency, the pressure was terrible. So the old school one is way down there with only one point because it lets some water through. That was a bonus point for actually letting water through. And then everything else is pretty obvious. Obviously the household one has much more water, so the pressure is much better. So there's the scores for that out of 10. Let's move on to test three. The final test which Natalie wanted to do is we are going to use Jax's thick fur to show the best jets on these and how much they cut through hair because Natalie has very thick hair. And so she 
you know, struggles with shower heads for that and I know a lot of people do. So we're going to use Jack as an example because he stinks and he's worth and he's uh, ready for a wash. So uh, let's go and get going with this. Also, I don't think it was appropriate for me to just be in the shower showering myself for this video as much as Jim Bob would like to see that. All right, we're not going to do this without the hose on because that's kind of pointless. So this is the old school original one. Let's just see what it does to his fur. I'm going to try and hold it the same distance away. Uh, as you can see, it's just kind of not really doing much. Uh, I mean, it's probably quite nice for him, but it's not great. It doesn't even move the fur no matter what distance I get. Okay, old school grand design uh, shower head. We're going to use this on jacks. Let's go. Okay, I can see that's uh, that's a bit better, yeah. It is a bit better. Like I can definitely feel the difference there. Like, obviously, that's um, it's cutting through better. Yeah. It is kind of. You can't see it very well, but I can definitely feel that. It feels like there's a lot more water. All right, for the Oxygenics, I'm going to use the same pressure as we were using before, and then I'll switch it just to show you the different uh, settings that it has. But let's just do the test with this one first and see what we think. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that's okay. I think that's better than the grand design. Not a lot better. I'm going to be honest, but that's uh, get up close. It's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. I, it feels better, and his fur feels better. All right, I'm going to change it to the second setting. Whoops, that was the third. Second setting. Very similar. Actually, that's a bit lighter. That's yeah. Using less of the shower holes, I think. And then the next one. Yeah, you can see that one. Yeah, that's uh, is that what you use for your hair? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that, that's really good. And then is this one not bad. Not that, bad. that doesn't hurt or anything, so it's yeah. actually alright. And then the final one that's that's the same. That's the same as the other one, yeah. Alright, so that one that, that one your hair. is the uh, long, thick hair people there you go. All right, the final one is the household one that we love. Uh, this again has multiple settings. We're going to use the same setting that we have been all the way through these tests. So, that's good. I think that's stronger than the Oxygenics and the uh, Grand, Grand Design one. So, I'm going to change the test now. I'm going to use uh, whatever it is. Okay, that's. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's harder, right? Yeah, that looks harder, yeah. Okay, that one's really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then uh, I'm gonna do um, that one, that one's soft. Still cutting through pretty well. And then, do you use that for your hair? I do use that for my hair in the do house, really? yeah. Look at it, you can see it. Yeah, that's, uh, I can feel that. Not enough to bother Jack, but that's pretty good. And then that's the one here. Yeah. It's luxury for Jack, usually he gets hosed down in the yard. <laughs> So at the end of all that, that was pretty hard to judge. Uh, it was a bit dark on the, on the camera as well, so we're sorry about that. That was just the lighting in our bathroom. But uh, uh, some of this was a bit subjective, but here are the results for the hair rating test that we did. Um, so as you can see, there was no surprise there. We talked you through it, so it all pretty much made sense. But again, the Oxygenics was miles ahead on that. I say miles ahead, it was one point ahead, but it was... Uh, yeah, the Oxygenics was, was the clear winner there. So let's combine all of the scores and give our final scoring system. The score is out of 30 because there was 10 for each test. And you can see that the hose only was a huge loser. No surprise, no worries. Uh, and actually, uh, this is pretty much what I thought it would be. I'm, I, this is very close to what you might imagine it to be. The old school hose was terrible. Yep, sure, we knew that uh, water efficiency was fantastic. So if you're boondocking, then that might be a good uh, solution for you. Um, the grand design and the household one were very similar. Obviously, they had different pros and cons, uh, depending on what you would like. But the Oxygenic was actually pretty good all the way through. It was pretty uh, average on all of them. Slow and steady wins the race, and that's why the Oxygenic comes out on top. So my conclusion to this is, if you had a grand design shower head that works okay, would you upgrade and spend the money on the Oxygenics? For me personally, probably not. I, didn't, I don't find much difference between the two of them. Um, Natalie would disagree. She does like the Oxygenics and she likes the, the, uh, the blast mode on that, so she loves that. So 
it's a very much a personal preference, but uh, if you have a broken shower head, I do not regret buying the Oxygenix at all. I would have had to replace it anyway. So thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to put another video up here. Um, please go ahead and click on that. If you would like to subscribe, please hit subscribe, especially if this helped you. It helps us and it helps the channel. Uh, and if you want to go one step further and support a couple of tits, you can become a Brazier by clicking the join button down here below. Thank you to all of our Braziers below for uh, supporting us. We really do appreciate you. And we will see you all next week.